Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sagar Bhargav and in today's video I am going to describe one of the most commonly prescribed eyelid uh, exercises and cleaning. Now this uh, procedure is usually prescribed for some patients who have developed dry eye or who, de who develop recurrent infection in the eyelids. To understand this procedure, let's try to understand what why why does this happen so if you look at the structure of the lid there is something called as a membrane glands in our eyes and they run run across the eyelids they release a secretion from their glands which travels to the through the mybomin duct and it comes out of the lid margin through various pores we can see this in this photograph now two things can happen with this one the quality of secretions is not up to the mark. These secretions are important for the tear film because they form a component of the tear film. And uh, if the, the secretion quality is not up to the mark, the tear film which covers a eye, that becomes problematic. And uh, patients develop symptoms of dryness like redness, irritation, discomfort, burning sensation, watering number two if they have if these secretions become very thick they can block the ducts as a result of this the normal secretions are not able to come out and uh, you can have an acute infection in the eyelids and this condition is called as acute mucomitis it's an extremely painful condition and uh, some in some patients it happens again and again once the infection settles down, in some patients you will see that there is a small swelling which persists in the lids for pretty long time. That condition is called as calerosion and that also happens because the ducts have got blocked and it's the, the secretions are not finding their way to come out. So with this background, let's try to understand how this uh, cleaning regime works. So there are three steps in this uh, process. The first step involves hot fermentation, second step involves lid massage and third step, so third step involves lid scrubs. So for first step, hot fermentation, why is it needed? So hot fermentation, what does it do is basically uh, when you give heat to the lids, the secretions in the movement glands get, get melted its consistency become more liquidic so once uh, you do that the next step that is the massage will help bringing out these secretions so how do we do hot fermentation it can be either done with a with dry heat or with a wet heat in dry heat one can use commercially available eye bags which can be just put it in the microwave and with the closed eyes that those bags can be put over the eyelids and uh, about five to ten minutes of warm or uh, hot compression is done for the wet heat we would need uh, warm water or hot water put a normal towel or a handkerchief in it and just close your eyes and apply it over the closed lids i'll just show you how to do it so here you have the handkerchief you can just fold it and just close your eyes and just apply it over the closed lids So after five minutes, you can remove it in between. If you feel that the temperature of it, of the uh, of the cloth has come down, it's become a little colder. You can again put it into water and just uh, reapply the the cloth. The idea is that the heat should be at least forty five degrees centigrade or one hundred thirteen degree Fahrenheit for it to be effective over the mebamin glands. The second step involves doing. Uh, uh, lid massage and this can be done with index fingers so you need to keep your index fingers in a horizontal position close the lids and just do movements like this so for the upper lid you are basically moving from up to down and in the process those melted movement mean, secretions are now brought to the to the lens uh, lid margin so about 10 strokes are required like this and then 10 strokes are done like this So both the maneuvers essentially bring the lid uh, secretions or the membrane gland secretions to the lid margin. 
You can also do this in case you find it difficult with the index finger with a Johnson's band with like this. So you need to hold this upper lid or uh, eyebrow and just look down and do like this or look up do like this. Finger one is much easier but you can see which one suits you better and take it accordingly. Now the final stage involves cleaning of those secretions which has come out from the lip margin through the pores and this involves again this bud you can just dip this into water a normal water and in some instances you, your doctor will advise you to mix it with uh, with the shampoo baby shampoo to, for an effective cleaning of the lid margin so you, you dip this into that water and then just go near a near a mirror and just along the lid margin just apply it one stroke or maximum two strokes Take care that it doesn't go in the eye. You just basically have to concentrate on the area uh, be, uh, from where the lashes come out. Similarly, for the upper lid, you need to do like this. And uh, then take another part and use both the ends. And for the other eye, you again, do the same thing. And once these three steps are over, you can just put some clean water on your eyes and wash your eyes. After the three steps are over, uh, just continue with the normal eye drops and what I've been prescribed to you. And uh, it's preferable that this maneuvers are done twice a day at least to get this maximum benefit. And uh, this probably would need to be uh, done on a, on a long term basis. I hope this information was useful to you. Thank you for your attention.